Crits, and welcome to Let's Make It Nerdy on the Creative Crits channel, where we show you how to make craft cocktails based off of nerd and geek culture. I'm your mixologist, Bree, and today we're going to be showing you how to make a drink inspired from everyone's favorite sad hobo wizard, Caleb Widogast from Critical Role. And the drink we're going to be making is the Widogast Whiskey of Fire. To get started, let's go over the tools we're going to need for today. So we're going to need a shaker, the trusty strainer, something to measure with. The glass that we're gonna be making this in is going to be a rocks glass or a lowball. And there will be fire involved on theme, but it's only going to be a little bit. So make sure you get something to light a cinnamon stick on fire with. Now for the ingredients. We are going to be having a cinnamon whiskey, a little bit of lemon juice, some cinnamon simple syrup, egg white, the cinnamon stick, and some bitters. We have a couple of different bitters. So this is a cardamom turmeric bitters. And then this is just good old fashioned Angostura bitters. To start, we are going to want to smoke our glass with the cinnamon stick. So to do that, you're just gonna take your cinnamon stick and give either end a quick little flame. And we are just gonna let that smoke for a little bit while we make the drink. So the first thing we're going to need is the two ounces of the cinnamon whiskey. And then we're gonna need three quarters of an ounce of our lemon juice. Now I'm sure you notice that I am not using fresh squeezed lemon juice, but instead lemon juice from a bottle. Obviously fresh squeezed is ideal, but I just don't go through produce quick enough And so I find that when I use fresh squeezed stuff, I have a lot of waste So this just helps me cut down on waste. The next thing that we're going to need in our cocktail is going to be the cinnamon simple syrup We're gonna need three quarters of an ounce of that now to make a simple syrup All you need to do is have one part water to one part sugar boil that mix it up dissolve all of the sugar and then to infuse it all I did was put a few cinnamon sticks into the mix and let that simmer for about 30 minutes. You can do that with about anything that you like. You can do cinnamon, lavender, rose petal. You can get really wild with it and it can make any drink really interesting. The next thing that we're going to do is egg white. And you can either use one whole egg white or if you're using store-bought like this, again, to cut down on waste, just use about half an ounce of this egg white. We are going to do what's called a dry shake, which is where we mix up this cocktail, froth the egg white without ice, and then we will later add in ice to cool it down. And we're going to shake this for about 30 seconds or until it is well frothed. You know it's getting there when the seal starts fighting you. Okay. That's good. Let's add a little bit of ice just to cool it down. That's nice and cool. Now let's go ahead and finish building our glass. So you're gonna to wanna to take a large ice cube or a rocks cube and place it in the center there. And then we're just going to strain the drink over that ice cube. And then the last thing we're going to do before we put the cinnamon on is add our bitters. Just a few drops of each. And then our cinnamon stick from earlier is going to be our garnish. And there you have the Little Gas Whiskey of Fire. So let's go ahead and see how it tastes. Mm. I mean, any whiskey sour with egg white is going to be a great whiskey sour, but that cinnamon really just sets it apart from other whiskey sours that I've had. I think it really fits the character. It's, it's very smooth and simple, but there's just this underlying hint of, of spice and something more interesting deeper down. 
and so that's part of why I wanted to go with this. I wanted to keep the cocktail for Kayla very simple and ideally something that started with a W. So that's why I immediately started looking at the whiskey sours. I played with a couple of different varieties that had all sorts of different flavors in them and I think the true base of the drink just got lost and when I kept it simple like this, just a few ingredients, I think it really shines and encapsulates the character really, really well. But you let me know what you think about it when you try this at home. If you like this content, feel free to comment below with what else you would like to see us make. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to like and subscribe so you can be the first to see it when it drops. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I am Brie with Let's Make It Nerdy on the Creative Crits channel, and I'll see you next time.